No. <laughs> let's, 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 let's go at it again, guys. <laughs> so what does the question say here? The question says a... A train starts from rest on top of a two percent incline and runs one kilometer down the incline under force of gravity only. So under force of gravity only. So that's what this object is, is, is using, only the force of gravity. Now calculate, okay, the resistance to motion is what 60 new, uh, Newtons per ton. Calculate the velocity of the train at the foot of the incline. Excuse me, after one kilometer by making use of the law of conservation of energy. And they tell us that, that we need to make the, the M as what, guys? Our M is going to be our, right. So can you please help me with the height again, guys, there? What to be the height? You said we are going to make this thing to be very, very short and simple and sweet. So what will be our height? People already know one kilometer is 1,000 meters, isn't it? And we are told that we have got a slope of 200. 2 over 100. You can find the theta, or you can basically just find the height. The, 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 the other way I showed you. So talk to me, guys. What would be our height there? Our height is not 2, right? Guys, the height, what is the height, please? Sine theta is equal to height over thousand. I need to guys. Yes. Yeah. Then sine theta is two over hundred is equal to height of thousand. And then height is equal to what? Twenty. Definitely. H is going to be equal to 20 meter. All right. Now, for us to solve this question, guys, ne? because they want the velocity of the train at the foot of the what? Of the incline. Ne? So that always we, we we want the velocity here. V is what you are looking for, guys. Now, if this thing was rolling frictionlessly, can I please repeat that, guys? If this thing was rolling frictionlessly, we were going to say EP at the top is equal to what, guys? EK at the what? That's fine. But now since there is friction, are we together, guys? Since there is friction, okay. uh, not all of this EP will be translated into what? Into EK. Okay. Are we clear, guys? Yes. Not all of that EP will be translated into EK. In other words, we are going to say EP at the top minus the friction because some of this EP will be lost in the friction and it's overcoming friction will be equal to EK at the what? At the bottom. Are we together, guys? Yes, sir. Which means some of this kind of, uh, some of this potential energy that is stored there, not all of it will be sent down to the, to, to, to become EK. But some of it would be lost due to what? Overcoming friction. Are we clear, guys? That is why yes. we're going to say EP at the top minus friction will give us the EK at the bottom. 
and once we get ek at the bottom <coughs> at ek at the bottom is equal to half what mv squared dang it this is the velocity we are looking for okay are we fine guys yes yes this is the velocity we are looking for but that would be ek at the what at the bottom Okay. Yes. So the first thing is the reason why I said I said find the height is because when we get the height, we can now find the what? We can find EP at the what? We can find EP at the top. I get it, guys. Yes. How much is EP at the top? Now they said let M be M. I need to guys. Uh, yes. So in other words, we are simply going to say M times 9,8 hang it times 20 yes. minus what would be our friction? What is our friction, guys? We said friction, the resistance against motion is friction, hang it, guys. Yes. Resistance against motion is our friction. So our resistance against motion, <clears throat> our friction is equal to is equal to what, guys? 60 newtons 60. per what? Per ton. Mm. Now, they told us here that our M must be in what, guys? Kg. In kg, isn't it? Yes. All right. So, which means how much is going to be our frictional force now? 60k. Uh... Stop it, stop it, stop it. Wait, let me erase the height thing because you already know about it. I just want to deal with this thing. They say M must just be M in kilograms. And then we are giving a ton, Lapaya. Which means, which means it's very simple, guys. We're just simply going to say 60 newton a ton multiplied by what, guys? By one. Ton. Because we are not told how much, how much, how much of this M that we have. So it's just one M in kilogram. So if we are giving this in per ton, we also need to multiply by what, guys? By tons, I need so that they cancel off. Then we are left with the frictional force of what, guys? Of sixty of six. newton. Times what? 60 newton. Of 60 newton what, guys? M. Because we, we still don't know how much is the mass of these tons. We still don't know how much it is. So it's still going to remain as M because we don't know how, how, how many tons this thing is. This vehicle is. Are we together, guys? So it's gonna be sixty yeah. newton times mass. So since since we don't know how many tons are this, so for me to one day, it, um, let's in fact let's just do this. One m what tons? Are we together, guys? One m tons, which means after this ton and the ton cancels off, you end up with newton, uh, not newton meter. When do guys? This is not newton meter of what? Of torque. It's, it's newton mass. So friction is 60 newton times mass is equal to what guys ek at the bottom which is equal to my which is equal to how much ek is equal to exactly what are we looking for guys the velocity on it already here guys people can see people can see what is happening can we cancel off my mass yes Definitely, we definitely can cancel off the mass. This mass and that mass and that mass. We divide each term by M, I mean it. Yes. We've got 9,8 times 20 gives us how much? 196. 196 minus what? 60. Uh, 60 newton it's a friction it's a friction and it's a newton is it's yeah. just newtons are we together guys because it force so there's no need for yes. us to put it there 
is equal to what? 0, 0,5 uh, what, guys? V squared. V squared. Can we get a, a subtraction of that and the division of 0, 0,5? Mm -hmm. Put a square root underneath it, guys, once. Then you have your value of V. I want you to go back and redo these things, guys. Okay, sir. How much do we get? 16,492. Mm -hmm. I want you to go and Look this. I'm just going back to that thing. Yeah, am I dynamics? I'm just trying to check. Yeah. If there's another question that is tricky. That is eight point two is wrong, ne? Eight point two is wrong. There's something wrong with that question of eight point two. Eight point two on the okay. Let me just share it now. This question of eight point two here. Oh, question is wrong. Question is wrong. Yes. If you read it, if you read it, you are, you are going to see this. They say an engine exerts a force of four hundred newton on an incline and draws it up and draws it up an incline of five. You see? How can an incline be yeah. in newtons? And then again, the question says, and it draws it up an incline again of what? One is two, one fifty-five. This number incline now two, man. Yeah, now it's wrong, okay? Yes. Yeah, the question was, was, was wrong. But, uh, but I want us to solve the question like this. I want us to solve the question. Like um, I'll take the question and put it back onto the. So that we can talk. What is going on? How? No, we didn't. Okay. I want us to solve this question, guys. But I want us to use different because a question like this can come out and I've already seen it on the, um, <laughs> okay. okay. I just want us to find a way of solving that question. I just want us to see what is wrong with the question first. And then once we find out what is wrong with the question, I believe that we can solve that question and then at least we'll be more confident on how to solve most of the questions that are, are given there. Right, so. Okay. 
Okay. I was just rechecking re this. All right, guys. <clears throat> Let's take the question to the drawing board so that we can solve it. Guys, I will be confident after today that we did bulk of the work. When is our next meeting? Uh, why should we have a next meeting? For revision, need to check. For, for, for what? For revision? Hey, I need to pick the deals. I'm going to send some of them. I'm going to All right. Eh. Especially heat, say, can we have another Zoom meeting based on heat? Mm -hmm. right. Yes. We are going to have heat. Thank you. What other topics, guys? Un unmute yourself and speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Right, I'm going to highlight the wrong part of this question. Eh? The wrongness of this question, I'm going to highlight it in red. May we please ignore what I've just highlighted? Are we clear, guys? Yes. Yeah, let's ignore what I've, I've just highlighted. In fact, to make it to make matters better for us, this will make it even easier for us. There we go. Nice one. So let's read our question now and, and see if we can answer it. An engine exerts a force off on a vehicle and throws it up and incline. Guys, we've done a lot of this. We need to be able to get this question. If we can't get this question, I don't know what it is that we would have been doing all along. So this force is pulling this up and incline. Are we together, guys? And then incline is one is to what? 150, are it? And mm -hmm. there's a resistance to motion, which is 80 Newton per ton. 80 newton per ton so which means guys our force of resistance is going to be equal to 80 newton per ton how many tons do we have guys of this vehicle this vehicle is what 280 tons are it yes yes can we go back to that question a little bit let me see and, um i want to show you something here I need to be looking for that frictional force. We said 60 Newton per watt, guys, per ton. I need. We're multiplying mm. it by mass tons. Are we together, guys? So that that and that kind mm. of it. That is why we had mm. Newton times mass. Because we didn't have the actual mass, I need, guys. So we, we substituted the actual mass by M. Is it? Same thing here. Here, instead of putting um, o, o, M as mass, we put how much? 280 because we have the actual oh. amount, dang it. Mm. The tons and the tons cancels off. How much is our FR? 80. How much is it? Guys, not, not, not too man. How much? 22,400. 22,400. So FR is going down as 22,400. Right, I need. 
And then don't forget, guys, we still have got Uban UW sine theta. I need why because we've got an angle. I need to guide. Are we together, guys? Yeah. And um, let's not forget, guys, they didn't mention what this thing is moving at constant speed. I need. Oh. Which means we, we, we also have got, let me put this one in in blue. We also have got what? OFA, I need. Are we together, guys? Hey. Exactly. West part, guys, they are even asking us to find what, guys? Calculate the acceleration of this vehicle. You see it? Okay. And I'm ning, ning me if, I, if I'm going too far. What is the force applied? Is 40,000, I need Newton. Sure. So left is equal to right, I need it, guys. Mm. Now, all the forces going to the left, oh, 22,400, I need Plus OFA, I need it, guys. Plus o, o w which is gonna be two eighty times ten to the power what? three I need it, guys times nine comma eight am I correct? Mm. Uh, so can you share the the page where you're writing? Cause I not give one equation if it. Ah, sorry 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 guys you have been you pardon me here I am. Thanks. I've been writing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I started by explaining this part, guys, when I said on the on our previous question. Let me, let me, let me just try again. I started by saying, I need FR. FR is 80 Newton per ton, I guess. So we have to multiply yeah. by how many tons we have. How many tons do we have, guys? 280 tons, hang it. Uh, yeah, so 80 newton per ton is two, uh, multiplied by 280 tons. O tan, no tan, we are cancelling, you are left with newtons, hang it. I said sure. it's the same thing that we are doing here. When we said on this question, the frictional force is equal to 60 newton per what, guys, per ton, hang it. Multiply by, mm -hmm. we don't know how, how many. Hang it, in this case, we, we, we are given the number of tons. In this question, they are 280 tons. I get it, guys. Mm. But on this question, we didn't have how many uh, tons, but we had M, number of what? Tons. Because they said we must use it as M. You see there? So, Utan, no tan, wa cancel, and wa sala, bani, 60 M. That's where we get the 60 M from. Are we together, guys? Yeah. Because if we had a number of this mass, if we had a, a hundred, we're going to multiply. But since we don't have a hundred, we've got M. That's why M will multiply and give us what, guys? And give us, and give us, um, and give us this M here. Which we don't know the mass. We are not given the mass. I was trying to explain that when I, when I, when I, when I got here. All right, thank you. So, do you agree, guys, that our FR is going down on it? Do you also agree that W sine theta is going down because of the weight again? And then we should also agree that FA is against the motion on it. Because it, it, it is our balancing force. You agree with me there, guys? <clears throat> and then going upwards, we've, we, we've got this applied force, this one, of 40,000. Of the engine, I think it's the engine that makes this thing to go up. Yes. Yeah. So I said the left forces are equal to the right forces. I guess forces going left are the ones which are going down. The white three now. Are we together, guys? Mm. Which is uh, the frictional force times the accelerating force plus what, guys? Plus the W. W will be 280, 10 to the power 3, hang it? Mm. Because we are bringing it from ton to kilograms. Multiply by 9.8 and 
and then times cosine theta where to guys is two ban. We said cosine theta is still equal to one over what? One fifty, ne? One fifty. Yes. yes. And then is equal to the forces going up is forty thousand. So guys, can we calculate the force of FA, please? So please, forty thousand minus twenty-two thousand four hundred minus this part. <clears throat> How much is gonna be FA? Thirty-five. Are we all getting that, guys? Oh, no, no, so no, 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 Okay, can we can we move on and find the acceleration? Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm. Let, let's find the acceler acceleration would be three five eight nine three divided by the by, by what guys? I mean, I mean this is equal to MA, I need. Mm. So it's, it's gonna divide by mass, I guess. Yes. And mass must be in kilograms, 280 times 10 to the power what? 10 to the power three. That's our acceleration there. How much is that? So comma one to eight. So eight. Meters per second squared. Is is this getting clearer and clearer? Mm. Yes. Okay, that's much better. I think one of the things that we have learned that we must keep into keep into our minds is the fact that F A is opposing the what the motion. And when FA is opposing the motion, we don't have FA if the if the motion is constant. Constant means no acceleration. No acceleration means no force of acceleration, which is FA. Um, I think um we've covered most of the things. So make sure that you answer every question on that paper, guys. And then um we will meet up and do Amayama questions as people are, are asking for us to do. Um, I'm going to send you also the links to these videos once I post them, and then I think we could. Are we good? Yeah, okay. thank you. Sir. Thank you so much, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye.